Hello everyone and welcome to my video about the best science fiction in history and in the future. Now first of all I want you all to understand that really social change comes from all of us kind of getting it at the same time in a mass awareness, a raising of our consciousness by the best writers that are out there with completely revolutionary ideas. And I'm going to sh prove that to you in this video. The first science fiction author that I was aware of as a little boy was Jules Verne, who wrote, amongst other things, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And that really captured my imagination and my consciousness, because what he was really talking about there was the futility of war and how this very idealistic Captain Nemo was trying to save the world from global destruction by himself building this submarine that would destroy all of the warships all over the world, which in those days were sailing boats. And uh, of course, it's become a much more massive problem today to the point where, where Vladimir Putin is talking about using nuclear weapons to get his way. He's a lunatic, of course, to even think of that in the Ukraine. So Jules Verne was way ahead of his time, and that was my first kind of awakening. And then came Arthur C. Clarke, who gave us 2001 The Space Odyssey. And it was so amazing the way that he approached the future from the past and how we've evolved, but still a very grave danger to our own survival. A wonderful movie, one of the best ever made. A little slow for a lot of people, but when you just get into it, it is so amazing what he's talking about. Then came Star Trek with hundreds of new ideas that we saw on TV every week and they gradually improved with all of the spin-offs that they had over the next few decades some of them some of the episodes truly amazing but always trying to raise our consciousness with each one and then came Star Wars and we all remember the lines around the block to try to get into this movie when it was first introduced in the 80s, or was it the 70s? I'm sorry. And it's lasted all this time. There's a new one coming out soon that we're all going to rush to go see. Multi-billion dollar franchise because not so much the action, which is fantastic, but also the message. Now, the next science fiction book that I'm trying to encourage you all to read is one called Immortality, A True Story, because it's based on this evolution of our consciousness over the last hundred years or so. And we're at a crossroads where we really have to start opening our minds and using this massive muscle that we have of total global consciousness. Otherwise, it's going to be a total global heap of ashes. And that's what I talk about in my books. And it has to do with the force. So all of the science fiction over the last hundred years to me is culminating in something truly amazing that we can all grab a hold of right now. And it is based on the force. It's a true force that is in the universe. It's the force of immortality. It's something that I talk about in several of my books. And so we want you to be the first on your block to start thinking about the force of immortality and what it could do for your own personal life as well as the life and survival of our species. So to find out what I'm talking about, please go to tinyurl.com, Immortality for Kindle. So forward, tinyurl.com forward slash immortality for Kindle. And you'll be able to download the book. It's a very nominal price. 
I'm practically giving it away. And at times I do give it away. Every couple of months we have a total giveaway. So if you can't afford $3, wait for the free version to come out every three months and get it for free. Give it some good reviews. And you'll see that gradually the concept in there will make a big difference in your life because we're talking about the greatest force that ever was. It is real. It can be used. There are life forms in our galaxy that are using it already. And that's what immortality, a true story, is all about. Also try God the God Particle Bible, which can be found at GodParticleBible.com because immortality is based on the discovery that I made with the God Particle that is a true force was announced a couple of years ago by the scientists using the Large Hadron Collider, Google it if you like, in Geneva, Switzerland, the biggest scientific experiment in the history of science, and they did discover something called the God Particle and the God Particle Field, and that's actually the force that George Lucas talks about in Star Wars. So all of this is coming together at our civilization right now and there's a reason for that. And you need to know about it and you need to start talking it up because there's nothing less than the survival of our species at stake as well as the survival of your own soul. Thank you for watching.